local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Coming up on 515 on this Wednesday morning. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. Yep, it's only Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, it, it is only Wednesday. <laughs> it just feels like, you know, you have those days in the week where you're just like, oh, yeah, it is only Wednesday. But nevertheless, we're here we are. It's going to be a yeah. good day as the song goes. Yeah, it's going to be a windy one. It's, it's going to be, be a little bit cooler one. than what we had oh, yesterday. Okay. A little relief. And then again, those temperatures by Friday get back up into the 90s. Wouldn't surprise me if we see some triple digits as well. Yeah. It's going to be a warm one. Yeah, and uh, we got some wind to talk about too. Yeah, well, like I said, windy one today. We'll start this off on our weather alerts. We have this wind advisory across all of the northern region of the state. Uh, that goes until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Consistent winds will get up to 25 to 35 miles per hour. Then eventually we'll see wind gusts up to 40 and it wouldn't surprise me if we see wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour as we get through the afternoon. Just going to be a windy one. Obviously, if you have stuff outside, uh, strap it down if you can or bring it indoors because uh, anything that isn't is going to get blown around through this afternoon, especially to the north. Maybe even a little bit heavier winds closer to the Canadian border through the day. We're also going to have some fire danger with these really heavy winds and these dry conditions. We're going to see lots of areas be right in between the minimum and extreme. I wouldn't be surprised if we see areas like Minot and Williston have their number go up to closer to maybe be extreme or critical fire conditions as we get through this afternoon. It's just going to be pretty dry, uh, so be careful with that as well as you get out and about or whatever you're going to be doing through the afternoon. If you don't have to have a fire, don't have it through the, the afternoon. Hi, uh, satellite and radar right now is showing us we do have some cloud cover building up to the north. Uh, that's going to be something we see through much of this morning. Eventually, we will have a light rain chance up to the north, and then it moves out. We'll have lots of sunshine. Wind speeds and directions 5 to an hour 20 miles per hour from mostly the southwest. These winds will eventually shift behind a cold front and be mostly from the north northwest. But again, just a really windy day ahead for us. Wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Temperatures right now got us sitting mostly in the 60s, but we do have some 70s already. 73 in Minot, 70 in Stanley. We even have 72 in Beach right now. We'll continue to warm up today. Not as warm as yesterday. We're below average once again, but we're still seeing mid to uh, lower 80s for most, even some 70s up to the north, especially closer uh, to Minot and the Canadian border. Uh, we again see 77 in Botano, 76 in Crosby, uh, some of the cooler areas around today. Precision cast not showing us much. Again, we'll have a light rain chance to the north, northeast, maybe a little bit heavier uh, to the far northeast, but many of us stay dry. We'll have lots of sunshine by the afternoon. We'll have those heavy winds. And then we stay dry tomorrow with sunshine. That sunshine stays around Friday as well. Our next rain chance is most likely going to be Saturday into Sunday. Temperature outlook for next week is showing us warmer than average temperatures. We'll have to keep an eye on this sort of been back and forth, but it does look like we'll be right at average next week. Maybe have some days a little bit warmer as well. And our precip outlook for next week. Well, that's also showing us maybe a little bit wetter than average, especially out there to uh, the west. Hopefully the northwest gets some of that rain because they obviously need it as well. Your Williston five day forecast got us in the 80s today into tomorrow, upper 90s on Friday, then the mid 80s Saturday back to the 70s on Sunday. Dickinson uh, lower 80s the next two days. We'll see the upper 90s on Friday back to the upper 80s on Saturday. Then the lower 80s on Sunday with that rain chance. Your Minot seven day forecast uh, 80s today into tomorrow, upper 90s Friday, those 80s for Saturday and Sunday, and then really just stick around into Monday and Tuesday as well. Your Bismarck seven day forecast mid 80s today, upper 70s tomorrow, lower 90s for Friday, then those 80s through the weekend and for the start of next week. That's the 90s. That's kind of what I'm liking. Yeah, you're going to like that. I don't think a lot of other people. <laughs> no, are gonna like I know, that. but we're, we're, we're folks, we're coming to the end, so we may that as well just true. like yeah. the hot temperatures while we got them. Yeah, well, and it is trying to hang on a little bit here. Yes, so. it is. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Still, thanks very much. Still to come on Good Day.